Hi friends, I'm so excited to be bringing you another dupes video. I know that I just barely did one, but when I did that, I knew that I had more. That video had just gotten too long and I wanted to make sure that I brought you these as well. So I had to get on it right away, even though it's only been probably about a month since I did my last one. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, cheaper and better. What is at the drugstore that I've replaced my high-end things with and what I feel like is pro probably better than than the actual high-end things or the luxury items that I've already bought. So I'm gonna be bringing you that. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That will tell you of any future videos that I am having. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy dupes videos, because I do a lot of drugstore on my channel and I do a lot of reviews in order for you guys to be able to save your money as best as you possibly can, especially in the times that we're living in. So let's get into cheap and better what high-end and luxury makeup I replaced at the drugstore. All right, first off, we're gonna talk about the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I loved this for such a long time. If you have a foundation that is too thick or is too matte, you can mix a pump of this in and it will give you the prettiest glow and it doesn't stay like super high beam or anything like that even if you use it just underneath your makeup it it sinks in really well it's not sinking in right there because i have oil on my hands from my previous video but it is so pretty on the skin and it just gives you just this beautiful um lit from within look it's very soft it's not harsh at all and i just think it is such a pretty product that they came up with. But you can dupe that by looking into the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion, and I have mine in light. Now the Becca one only comes in one color. There is a purple one, but that's more for toning your skin. So this one only comes in one color, but this one comes in, I think, four colors. I also should tell you that there is one ounce of the Becca um, Backlight Priming Filter, and the Lumi Glotion has um, 1.35 ounces. Even though this is a little bit more expensive of a drugstore product you're getting more and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than that one so here it is right here and look at it, it's just every bit as pretty i actually think i like this one a little bit better because it goes on a little bit thinner it's not as thick as the becca product and it just seems to just sink right into the skin so both of those hands are glowing and they're beautiful but one saved you a ton of money and i like the way it sinks in as as compared to the becca so both of them are pretty pretty products and I would recommend both of them but to save some money you are looking at the exact same product that you can buy at the drugstore now this next one is technically not one that is at the drugstore you do have to order this but I had to tell you guys about this now a long time ago I mean like a year ago dossier contacted me and wanted me to um, show these fragrances on my channel and at first I was like I don't know because on at the time I didn't have these fragrances and so I couldn't really test them out this is a company that dupes high-end fragrances like they do aqua de goya aqua de goya they do mark jacobs daisy i think i don't don't quote me on the daisy one but they do um light blue um dolce and gabbana light blue they do versace bright crystal they have quite a few and they're 29 per um per bottle and it's 1.7 ounces of the bottle and usually when you're looking at this size at the regular ones or the ones that you can find like at Ulta or Sephora at 1.7, you're looking at about $76 for any perfume. And so at the time I didn't want to promote this because I just didn't have the perfumes and I couldn't tell you whether or not they were as good as far as lasting power and whether or not they were a dupe for the actual fragrance. Well, I recently got some samples sent to me of these two fragrances. So I, the Fresh Floral is Bright Crystal from um, Versace and I can tell you that they smell exactly the same. They are identical in the fragrance you could not tell if you put those on you could not absolutely tell any difference whatsoever and as far as lasting power i actually think dossier does a better job now when i show you the light blue 100 does a better job at the lasting power 
Versace Bright Crystal lasts on me a long time anyway because it's a very, very strong floral scent. So I use a very tiny bit when I do wear it, but it is a beautiful fragrance that so many people love. And this one for this size, like I said, was $29, but the size of the Versace, the, the regular one, the original one is about $76. So what a great savings. I mean, less than half to be able to get it. And so I think that that's something that you, you might want to look into if you want to, you know, dupe your high-end fragrance, they might have yours. I don't have a discount link while I'm recording this, but check in the box because I will try and contact them and see if I can get a discount link for you guys. And the link will not be an affiliate link. I don't make any money off of it. I'm just trying to get you guys a good discount. The next one is one that I want to talk about again. I think I talked about this in a dupes video, like four or five dupes video ago, but this is the highbrow from Benefit. And I have tried and tried to use this thing up. It's taken me forever. I love it because I use it everywhere. I use it on my Cupid's bow. I use it in, but you know, in the inner corner right there on my brow line to make my eyes look. I've loved it ever since I've used it. It's just a really good product and it just shows brightness with no glow on it. And um, I've got so much glow on there already. But anyway, it's a really good product. But when I found this wet and wild one, I like this so much better because I use this for my inner rim and it stays there so good throughout the day. And you know, everywhere else I put it too, it stays longer than the Benefit Highbrow. I also like it because it's just a little bit brighter of a product. I think it's because this one is a little bit more flesh toned, the one from Benefit, and this one just is a little bit more pink. So it has a little bit of a brighter property to it. But the Wet n Wild one will last you a lot longer than the Benefit one. So that is one where I was like, besides telling you about it and showing you how I use it, I had to tell you that it is better than the Benefit one and I like it so much more. And the next one is from Pat McGrath Labs. This one came to me very recently. This one is the Skin Finish Sublime and Perfection Blurring Powder for your under eyes and mine is in light. Yeah, it's light, it's white. <laughs> It is really, really light, you guys. It is a beautiful powder, though, you guys. It's very finely milled. You need a very tiny bit amount of it. And yes, I do have it underneath my eyes today. I do, if you guys have a problem with things looking very dry, you just have to use such a tiny amount. And the way that I use this is I put it on my Dampen Beauty Blender after I've done my foundation. And then I'll flick my Beauty Blender so there's no extra powder in there. I'll have to demonstrate this for you guys sometime. But I'll, I'll swatch it a little bit in there, flick all that extra powder off, and then just gently dab underneath my eyes. And I've been really enjoying the effect of that. But yes, it does dry out underneath there. If you don't want your um, concealer to crease, you have a lot of dark circles and you have to use a bit of concealer, then you're definitely going to have to powder a little bit. But this, I take so little of it that it just does a really good job and it does really kind of give it an airbrushed effect. But you guys, from e.l.f., this is their HD Finishing Powder. And I was like, there it is. That is just exactly it. And then you stick your finger in it and there it is. It is just exactly like it. It has that same fine, super fine quality. I mean, it is just the most soft, just like the Pat McGrath. It is super soft. It is super blurring. It's beautiful, but I do the same exact thing. I will just dust my beauty blender across there a little bit, flick that beauty blender so there's no extra powder, and then just powder. So this eye right here has the e.l.f. on it, and this eye has the Pat McGrath on it. And you can't tell the difference, and it wears the same throughout the day. It doesn't dry out anymore. It has the same exact consistency. And I was like, okay, this is a wow, because I bought this Pat McGrath because everybody had hyped it up so much. So if you guys have been thinking about doing the Pat McGrath one and wondering about it, I would say save your money. Uh, this was so much and save your money and go for the Elf because the Elf was only $6. Now, another one that I was really, really excited about was finding a dupe for this Becca product. Let me grab my glasses here because I want to read the whole entire name of it. This is from Becca. This is Pearl Glow Luster Glow Powder in pure pearl. This is a beautiful highlighter, you guys. It's absolutely 
incandescent across the cheeks it's just absolutely gorgeous and you can see that i have it on this cheek here today this is not like any other highlighter that you've ever had before you guys this is a glass like highlighter so even though you're going to see how high beam it is right there today it's not one that you put on and it feels powdery it just feels light it feels soft and it just gives that super glow to the skin and i just have absolutely loved wearing it i've loved everything about it i i heard about it from um, mel thompson on her channel and she was raving about it and i like becca's highlighters anyway so i had to pick this one up so glad that i did but makeup revolution came out with this one and this is the glass mirror illuminator it doesn't come in any different colors and the becca one doesn't yet either but it is so close you guys it has the same exact feel to it i mean it has that feel of being soft without having a powdery feel to it it just feels super light as you're using it and when I found it, I was like, holy Moses, you guys, this is another glass-like product without any real color to it. It might have a tiny tad bit of pink to it, but it's right here, and then the Becca's right here. And can you guys tell any difference between the two? I mean, it might shine a little bit brighter, but it is across my cheeks on this side today. So it really, honestly, you guys, I can't tell the difference because they are just glass-like products. They're not products that actually have a lot of color in them. They're just this gorgeous candlelight glow. I love it. I think it's just a beautiful product and it performs exactly the same way. Gives the same type of glow, gives that same type of lit within look, but for a fraction of the cost and has the same lasting power, doesn't show up any texture on me and that's really why I love these glass like products is because of my mature skin and it doesn't show any texture so if you guys have been thinking about wanting a Becca powder but you wanted to know which one would be good on your aging skin that one is a winner winner for me all the way and then if you have been around YouTube for any amount of time you know that the buxom full-on lip cream in the color white russian is kind of a cult classic for everybody the reason is is because it's just a beautiful look on the lips it doesn't change the color of what you're wearing you can wear it on its own and it gives just a beautiful light look to your to your lips it doesn't really plump your lips but it makes your lips look fuller and plumper because of its high gloss properties it does have that cooling effect on your lips it is one of those ones that makes your lips feel um, a little bit of a tingle not big I, I would say that it's more of like a menthol feeling than anything it's not like a tingling some of those things they just hurt your lips when you put them on and they say plumping because they like sting or they feel like you got needles on there soap and glory comes to mind really quickly for me but i did find one that i feel like is every bit as good and is just about the same color from the full on lip plumpers from milani and this one I feel like it's so close and I will go ahead and I'll put this one on for you guys too. Let's do the buxom first. So the buxom is going to be right there. And as you can see, it really doesn't have a lot of color to it at all. It just has a lot of shine, maybe a little bit of a nude color to it. And then we will do the Milani one right next to it. And so those two right there, hopefully that's translating on camera. But right there, you can see that it just has the same properties. It's so close. And I have heard that this one from Milani doesn't have a lot in it, but I did compare. And the one from Milani has a little bit more in it than the one from Buxom. So they're close, you guys. And if you are in love with White Russian, you're going to love this one that is in Champagne. It doesn't have any sparkles in it that I can really see. It has that same quality that White Russian does. It has just kind of just a little bit of illuminating property to it without having any really, you know, iridescence or anything to it but that same cooling effect that same menthol um, cooling effect and the same look when it gets on your lips of having a fuller pout because you have the lip gloss on it so i absolutely love these and you guys for the last item today i really debated as to whether or not i wanted to put this in here because honestly you guys this isn't like a hundred percent dupe but you guys know that one of my very favorite palettes that I've ever gotten is from Huda Beauty and it's the New Nudes. I love this palette. It does have a really 
similar um, shade range in here. It's very on the muted side. And, and some are more towards the mauve tones, berry tones, but you do have your very neutral brown um, tan tones in here as well. The These that are the marble look ones, they are a high shine product, super high shine on them. And they're gorgeous. So this has been one of my favorite palettes for a very long time. And this one that I'm going to show you next isn't exactly like a spot on dupe or anything. There is that for you so you can see how beautiful that is. This isn't like a color for color dupe, but it's really close as far as what it's trying to get across. And that is the Pro, let's see, this one is the Pro Mastery from LA Girl. So I want you to take a look at the Pro Mastery and then look at the Huda Beauty one, you guys. Wow, I mean, this has got 18 in it and this has got 16. Those two glitters in there, I can't use. So this is a 16 pound palette for me anyway. But the thing is, you guys, is that they're so close as far as their colors. Now, if I swatched them side by side, there's only about maybe five colors in each of them that match side by side. So I'm not going to do that for you today. But using it, you can get the same exact looks. And what I mean by that is that when you blend colors together, you're getting very, very similar looks. And, and the other thing about it is that the metallics are such a high shine, just like this one. And like I said, it's not gonna be an exact. It's pretty darn close, but it's not exact. So there's the two of them. This is the LA Girl right down here. And then this is the Huda Beauty one on the top. They have the qualities of being the same type of shadows as far as their blendability, their lasting power, how pigmented they are. They're just gorgeous as far as both of them are concerned. So I did hesitate because it's not a super dead on dupe, but I'm telling you that I would purchase this one over this one to save the money any day of the week because really honestly, you're gonna get the same kind of looks out of them. So I wanted to just, Throw it in here, let you guys decide for yourself. I do love my Huda Beauty um, one and I reach for it all the time. There are certain colors in here that aren't in this Pro Mastery one from LA Girl that I would like to have seen in here, but it's so close, you guys. I had to at least share with you how close it was. So that is it for today's dupes video. I am going to be bringing you lots of these because as I am trying higher end makeup, I want to make sure that I'm helping you guys save a little bit more money and be able to help your pocketbooks because I know that so many of us are really trying to pinch pennies. And you know, when we're going through drugstores, it's a little bit easier for us to pull the trigger on something that's $10 as compared to something that is $40 to $50. But as always, I want to make sure that I tell you guys that I am not telling any of you to go out and rush out and buy anything. These are just things that I'm bringing to you that help with being cost effective for you. And I hope that there's something that you do enjoy. So please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I appreciate having you here so much. Thank you guys so much for your outpouring of love to my husband. He is doing well. He has recuperated so good. Um, he's out of pain, thank goodness. And he is actually working today for the first time which I'm very glad that he is able to get back to normal because I don't like to see my loved ones in pain any more than I'm sure that any of you guys do. I love you guys so very much. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay sanitized and I will see you in my very next video. Bye you guys.